to order that could do their pit stops entirely within the full course yellow. It's just not quite enough of yeah. Now, the other thing Ten, is that Louis Delatraz needs to be careful eight, not to seven, overlap before six, five, we go green. Four, he can immediately after, three, of course. Two, one. Full course yellow removed. And it's Full go, course go, yellow go removed. then for Jota and WRT. And that's really good car placement for Louis Delatraz. Oh. Although there was an edge there from Jota. He was Jafari. the wrong side of the cone. He was the wrong side of the cone. At the pit lane entry. He was. That's gonna. I, I can't believe that won't be a penalty for the WRT car. He went the wrong side of the pit entry cone. All right. Well, he'll say that I was put there by Jasmine Jafarma. What was my alternative to drive into the side of the 82? Wait to see how that is called. Uh, but uh, he got a great getaway coming out of the Parabolica. But then there was a squeeze from the Malaysian driver up ahead. They stay nose to tail. Gap now between the first two cars is 12.1 seconds. Delatraz and Jafar together are only half a minute behind Tom Gamble and 40 odd seconds behind the, the overall race leader, Will Stevens, for Panis Racing. A real time gap in LMP3 between DKR and United is actually. 36 seconds and it is 1.9 between the two Ferraris that top GTE. Big, big traffic here for the two battling LMP2 cars. Big lock up there from the 82. Is that given opportunity for Louis Dillard? Right procedures under investigation. We'd get that message whether there was a problem or not. The racing experience car now has to go through the Varianti Ascari on the racing line. So the two LMP2s behind have little choice but to wait for that to happen and then darting from one side of the track. Yeah, 141.7 last time around, which was eight tenths of a second quicker than Will Stevens. Jasmine Jafar, by the way, has pulled away from Rio Delatraz, is in a comfortable third position now. Where we are in Pro-Am, Roberta Mary with Charlie Eastwood. That's quite close, two and a half seconds for the overall lead in the Olympito Pro-Am. 25 from 34 for sixth position overall. And then a group of cars, three cars within 10 seconds.